A little overview on MySQL for Visual Studio. It provides seamless access to MySQL objects and data. Also, it eliminates the need and corresponding time delay to leave Visual Studio to access databases. Another benefit is you can set up new database connections in C-Sharp, allowing you to access multiple databases in different locations. Finally, you can query and view data from tables and views in a similar manner that you're already accustomed to from SQL Pro. Since in our future classes, we will be programming in C-Sharp to run database queries, I decided to test out problems from previous labs to see how they work in C-Sharp. Before you get started in C-Sharp, it's always a good idea to make sure that MAMP is running. Another good reminder is to make sure you reference MySQL when you start a new project in C-Sharp. One last reminder is to make sure that the command string in C-Sharp references the correct IP address, user and password, name of the database, and corresponding port. In this short video, I use the DVD count problem from the Week 3 lab as an example. In this problem, we were to select the count of DVDs, showing only the last 10 years with the current year on top and group by year. Since we are not supposed to share code, I am just using a few snippets to show how to count the proper number of DVDs grouped by year for the last 10 years. Also make sure you have the proper console write line so C Sharp can access MySQL, providing the right data response. The final outcome should be the same data output that you would get if you ran a query in SQL Pro. Thank you, and I hope everybody has enjoyed this month and has much success in Advanced SDI next month.